It was a chilly evening two weeks before Halloween. Everyone was having a great time until someone found a dead body in a haunted house. What happened here? The investigator asked. I don't know. I was walking through and I found the body, Bob replied. Okay, but we have to get to the bottom of this, the investigator says fiercely. So what we know is that somebody finds a random body, the, invest the investigator asks himself. And then he remembers one of other people see the dead body, not just Bob. Someone meant to place the body in plain sight. Let's start investigating people. I will first investigate Bob, the investigator says. They go to his office, and the investigator asks all of his questions. How did you find the body? Well, I was walking with a friend, and I almost tripped over him, Bob replied. Was anyone acting a little weird tonight? No. Well, there was someone wearing black and running out, Bob said. Did you see his face, the investigator asked? No, but I did see the license plate, Bob said, a little bit more proud. They talked up. A little more, then Bob told him his license plate, and the investigator went to find him. The investigator traces the license plate, and it turns out it is the owner of our company. Is Mike here? The investigator asks. He is not here right now. Can I leave? But I can leave him a message for you, she asked. No thanks, but thank you for your help, said the investigator as calmly as he could. Next thing they do is go to his house. They go to Mike's house and they knock. Someone answers, but it's not Mike. Do you know who Mike is? The investigator asks. Yeah, is he in some kind of trouble? Mike's friend asks. Mike suddenly comes to the door. Are you Mike? The investigator asks. Mike starts to run. The cops follow after him. They get Mike. Next, the investigator takes him to his office and asks him some questions. He finally confessed and he is put in jail.